New today, studies now show using your phone while driving can be more distracting than driving drunk. Students at Park Hill High School got an up-close and personal education today on driving responsibly. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan has that story. Well, there is a lot happening as part of Arrive Alive Day at Park Hill High School. We're here with the Kansas City Police Department where they've set up their seatbelt safety demonstration. They have a couple of crash dummies in the seat of this pickup truck. And uh, what they do is kind of simulate a rollover and show how wearing a seatbelt makes a huge difference here with Officer Severe. If you don't mind, maybe turning it on and showing us how this works. Uh, we'll see if the crash dummy comes flying out is not wearing a seatbelt there inside right now. So we expect them to kind of, kind of fly out at some point. And it didn't take long. Look at the first turn. The one dummy is already on the ground. And the second one is up against, stuck against the ceiling, the roof of the car, and now uh, came out the other side. So really highlights what's, how important it is to wear your seatbelt if you want to arrive alive. But throughout the day, they've also had other presentations going on. They set up a couple of crash cars in the parking lot simulate a, a wreck and then they had uh, actually the sheriff's deputies come out and arrest one of the students. They said that he was driving drunk in the kind of this mock situation. We spoke to one of the uh, students in charge of organizing this event. She told us that her mother and father had both been in car crashes. If it just impacts one person, that means one less person that dies in a crash. We were consistently pulling over vehicles now that we believe are, are impaired drivers only to find out they're perfectly sober that they've been playing on their phones. So the Platte County Sheriff's Office also involved in today's demonstration. They're setting up right now for some activities and ahead at 1130, I'll actually be participating in one of their activities, highlighting just how dangerous it is to be drunk and distracted while driving. At Park Hill High School, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News.